So this lesson is all about confidence, or to be more specific, about charging with confidence. So what is it about cake business owners that makes them reluctant to charge the prices they need to charge in order to make their businesses profitable? Well, all too often I hear it's down to lack of confidence. It's not necessarily the product, it's the confidence. So in this lesson, we're going to start addressing how to change that and have you charging the prices that you need to charge with confidence. So confidence comes from within, from within you. You get to choose the way you feel. Now, if you want to feel confident, you can be confident. But all too often, people don't like to step up because that word has some limiting barrier towards them. So how do you jump that barrier and begin to feel confident? Wouldn't you love to sit down at your next consultation, feel totally in control, totally confident, and present prices that you need to charge in order to make your business? How does that sound? It must be exciting because that's what you're in business for, is to make money, to make profit, and you're only going to be able to do that if you can get customers to part with their hard-earned money, and you can only really do that if you present them in a confident way. So we're going to show you how to present them in a confident way and look at the hurdles that we've had to, to overcome in order to make ourselves come across as confident because there's a difference in feeling confident and coming across as confident. And uh, Paul's an expert at it, so I'm going to give you some of his hints and tips as we go through the lesson too. So all too often, what we hear from Cape business owners is that they can't charge the prices because nobody's willing to pay them. Um, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. Anything apart from addressing the real problem, which is themselves which is the real honest and hard truth of it all, because everything else is just excuses. What you need to do is build up the confidence to be able to stand up and face up to these things, and you will, it's like barriers, it's like a hurdler in a race getting to the finishing line. Now, wouldn't you like to get to that finishing line feeling confident? Because confidence is one of the early barriers that you're going to have to jump across, and as soon as you jump it, Honestly, the whole world opens up and it becomes a different place and everything else feels like less of a challenge. So tackling confidence is one of the key things and we're going to explain all this and how to overcome these hurdles in this lesson. So in business, any business, you need to be able to sell. You need to stand up before a customer at some point and have them part with their hard-earned cash so you can provide them with a product or service. Now, they're only going to do that if they've got confidence in you and your product. So you need to be able to display that confidence. Otherwise, they're not going to have that confidence to give you their money. So it's so, so important. That's how vital it is. We've all been in situations where, you know, we get the pushy salespeople. I, for one, don't like that at all. It totally makes me want to back off. But that's the understanding that a lot of people have when you say that you need to sell or you're a salesperson. That's not the case. There are so many people that can sell properly just by displaying confidence, by displaying their products, displaying their prices, and that way you get this win-win situation where the customer is happy to part with their cash for the product or service you're providing. And confidence is the underpinning uh, foundation for all of that. So we're going to get on with the lesson now and I look forward to seeing you in lesson one.